North America's coolest custom car. They call it Revision, the Jaguar F-Type, and combining the worlds of automotive art and fine art. All that and more coming up right here on the SST Car Show. SST is brought to you by Stark Auto Sales, home of the ultimate worldwide scratch and dent car sale. Hey everybody, I'm Rick Walker. Welcome to another edition of the SST Car Show. We have a lot of really cool stuff to share with you today. We're going to show you Honda's vision for the automotive future. It's all electric and it's looking pretty cool. We're also going to show you uh, this year's SST Car of the Year, the Jaguar F-Type. And what else do we have for you? We have some highlights from this year's SEMA show in Las Vegas, probably the coolest custom car show in the world. But first, let's show you a car that many now consider to be the top custom car in North America right now. It's called Revision. We've shown it to you here on the show before. And this is now a second look with our own Brittany Alexandra and Maggie Yule at a car they call Revision, based on an old Buick Riviera. It's this year's Riddler winner from the Detroit Autorama. They call this car Revision. It has a 6.2 liter V8 engine. It has a Tremec six speed transmission. It has a custom grille and taillights. In fact, everything on this car is custom. It has Curtis speed wheels and Pirelli tires. Now a look at the all-new Jaguar F-Type with Lindsay Duffield of Jaguar Canada. We found this car at the Canadian International Auto Show. It is also this year's SST Import Car of the Year. Lindsay, the F-Type, I guess, really does kind of harken back to Jaguar's roots. Can you just elaborate on that a little bit for our viewers? Well, it's our first two-seater sports car since the E-Type. So depending on who's counting, you know, some people say 45 years, some say 50 years. But that's a long time. But I think, you know... Uh, you know, you never serve fine wine before it's time, and I think certainly what our designers and engineers proved is that, you know, with the F-Type, that we certainly have delivered a car that's not a successor of the E-Type, but certainly puts Jaguar back on the map as far as a manufacturer of great sporting performance cars. A lot of new technology has been built into this car from the way that it has been built to the way that it's powered. Can you uh, just give us a little insight into, into that technology and how this car really is cutting edge? Sure. Well, you know, we have three models. We have uh, the F-Type, we have a V6, a V6S, and a V8 in the uh, convertible. So you have 340 horsepower, 380 horsepower, and then 510 horsepower. And then in the, uh, 
uh, coupe, which we're just unveiling today here at the Canadian International Auto Show, you have 550 horsepower V8 version. So, and you have a whole combination of, 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 uh, cl of uh, uh, da active dampers, uh, mechanical differentials, electronic differentials, open exhaust. So, depending on the model, there's a lot of sophisticated technology. Actually, the 550 horsepower, the R Coupe, has torque uh, vectoring in it uh, uh, as well. But uh, great supercharged engines, and of course, it's all aluminum, or maybe I should say aluminum uh, construction. So it's light, it's stable. You got this great 50-50 weight balance and you just feel like you're in a fighter cockpit inside. So I was driving one last summer, and I tell you, it, it was just the most brilliant car, and I, I can't remember a car that got so much attention on the road. Very sexy, and, uh, and, and there's just something about having just the two seats, because the, the XK, of course, had that little back seat, but mm -hmm. when you just have the two seats, it really does become a true two seats sports car. Yeah, it, it is. And yet, you know, when uh, before I I drove it, I thought, you know, it is a two-seater sports car. Now, it's a little deceiving because from a price point, we're between say a Boxster Cayman and a 911, but it's actually about the same size as 911, actually a little wider. So it's actually a good size a roadster, uh, but I thought you know, as a result, you know, uh, you know, as a two-seater sports car, it would be a little rough. But it, it's got like a Jekyll and Hyde personality. You can go cruising for a long cruise on the highway. It's very, very comfortable. I was driving up to the, the cottage a couple hours north of here in the summer, but then you know, you put it in sport mode, put on the active exhaust, and boom, you know, look out. And uh, having had it on the track as well, uh, doing I think I was up to about 275 kilometers an hour. It is rock steady. So. Just a fun, fun car. To, if, if this car doesn't put a smile on your face, then you're dead. <laughs> well, listen, thank you very much. Hey. Congratulations hey, on, uh, on the achievement. Car of the year. Uh, and it really does, uh, I guess, speak to Jaguar's future as, uh, as, a, as a leader in the sports car field. Yeah, there's a lot more coming, so stay tuned. And now some highlights from the coolest custom car show in the world, in our opinion, the SEMA Auto Show in Las Vegas, Nevada. Don't go away. When we come back, we'll show you a very cool fuel cell electric vehicle from Honda. Hi, this is Becky June. Hi, my name is Mila B. And don't go away. SSD is coming your way. Steve Plunkett presents the Fleetwood Country Cruise In, featuring 100 years of Daw and Canada's Dukes of Hazard cast reunion. Meet Tom Wopat, John Schneider, Rick Hurst, Sonny Schroyer, General Lee mechanic Tom Sarmenta, and other celebrities like George Barris, Linda Vaughn, Courtney Hansen, Gene Winfield, and Dennis Gay. See square dancing tractors, over 4,000 vintage cars, and dozens of General Lees. June 6th and 7th, 9282 El Viage Drive, London, Ontario. Visit FleetwoodCountryCruiseIn.com for more info on an automotive extravaganza like no other. Turn back the hands of time with Antique Chevrolet Parts. Since 1971, we've been sourcing parts from around the world to help you restore and maintain antique Chevs. No to tail fins, we have your parts. Call us toll free at 1-866-767-2787. Get help from a real person or go to AntiqueChev.com, download a catalog, order online, delivered to your front door. Antique Chev, helping you turn back the hands of time. 
Looking for a better way to buy a car? Stark Auto Sales holds insurance recovery auctions every Monday. SUVs, minivans, cars, trucks, motorcycles, even exotic sports cars. Thousands of vehicles in stock. Some are rebuildable wrecks. Some just parts cars. Others are damage-free theft recoveries. You can save a lot of money bidding in person or online. Stark ships worldwide. If you're looking for a better way to buy a car, stop by the next Monday auction at 119 Union Street, Toronto, or visit StarkAutoSales.com. Maverick Multimedia. We produce TV commercials and negotiate best possible airtime rates for our clients. We build custom websites with original photography and graphic design, not stock photos, and offer cost-effective search engine optimization plans that generate response. Real people serving clients across North America, getting you real results. Call 1-866-248-1490. Maverick Multimedia Incorporated. Way better marketing solutions. The Southern Ontario Military Muster. See war reenactments, weapons demonstrations, vintage military vehicles. Honor the World War II veterans with a veterans parade marking the anniversary of VE Day. And the portraits of honor display paying tribute to Afghan vets. Tour the trenches. And don't miss this year's new attraction, the Supermodels America Vintage Fashion Show. The Southern Ontario Military Muster. June 13th and 14th at the Essex Sports Complex Arena and Grounds in Essex, Ontario. Visit militarymuster.ca. Turn back the hands of time with Antique Chevrolet Parts. Since 1971, we've been sourcing parts from around the world to help you restore and maintain antique Chevs. No to tail fins, we have your parts. Call us toll free at 1-866-767-2787. Get help from a real person or go to AntiqueChev.com. Download a catalog, order online, delivered to your front door. Antique Chev, helping you turn back the hands of time. Steve Plunkett presents the Fleetwood Country Cruise Inn, featuring 100 years of Daw and Canada's Dukes of Hazard cast reunion. Meet Tom Wopat, John Schneider, Rick Hurst, Sonny Schroyer, General Lee Mechanic Tom Sarmenta, and other celebrities like George Barris, Linda Vaughn, Courtney Hanson, Gene Winfield, and Dennis Gay. See square dancing tractors, over 4,000 vintage cars, and dozens of General Lees. June 6th and 7th, 9282 El Viage Drive, London, Ontario. Visit FleetwoodCountryCruiseIn.com for more info on an automotive extravaganza like no other. Hey friends, welcome back to the SST Car Show. You know, every car company unveils concept cars at auto shows. And this year at the Canadian International Auto Show in Toronto, Honda unveiled their FCEV. It stands for Fuel Cell Electric Vehicle. For a look at that now, we go to Toronto uh, with yours truly and Stephen Ellis of Honda Canada. What is this car? It's the FCEV. What does that stand for? Well, this is a FCEV concept, so that's a fuel cell electric vehicle. We have our Clarity fuel cell vehicle on the roads in California today. This is a styling and design study for the next generation fuel cell car, so we can garner feedback from the people and say, you know, what do you think? And what is the difference? What improvements have you made in terms of technology? Massive improvements. So the actual powertrain is reduced in size by 33%. It's 60% uh, higher energy density. I know that's technical, but it's a big improvement in uh, basically the uh, weight of the components that drive the vehicle. Um, the, all, all that means is 300 plus mile range with under five minute refueling and zero emissions. The other, of course, goals that we're trying to achieve is cost reduction. There's a manufacturing element of this that will change completely. That is, the entire powertrain will be in the same exact space under the hood, just like an internal combustion vehicle. So manufacturability will be improved significantly, all leading toward cost reduction. What about problems like uh, how do you make the hydrogen? How do you store the hydrogen? Those are, those are the issues here, right? Sure. So we've had 100 years to get the gasoline vehicle infrastructure that we have today. 
today, your local gas station. So we're starting more from scratch there in California. There are about a dozen or so stations our customers use today, but there's a pathway to 100 stations that'll give scalability that'll let people get in the business of being a hydrogen station, and that'll uh, they'll bring those to the customers. So the, the beauty of this is that hydrogen, it really is a true zero emissions fuel. That's right. When, when run through a fuel cell electric vehicle, the efficiency is over 60%. Gasoline, internal combustion, 18 to 20%. And when you burn hydrogen, if I'm not mistaken, you get carbon dioxide and water. And of course, hydrogen is made from water, so it's a renewable resource. It actually can be a complete closed loop uh, cycle. So the exhaust of the vehicle is water that goes into the atmosphere, comes back down as rain. We know that. That same water can be electrolyzed to make hydrogen. Which is very cool. And and the, the electric motor in there, have you made many improvements to that? You know, the electric drivetrain, we've uh, really perfected that over the years since 98 when we came out with our EV plus electric car. We've advanced it every year since then. Uh, so those components, the batteries that are carried on board to capture energy under diesel and braking, all of that's getting very mature. So 300 mile range? Over 300 mile range and under five minute refueling. So basically operation of this next fuel cell vehicle will be just like you operate your gasoline vehicle today. Pull up to a gasoline station in this case, doling out hydrogen, under five minutes, you're back on the road, good for over 300 miles. And, and the styling of the vehicle really is very forward thinking. Very much. Uh, stunning styling design, uh, kind of edgy, pushing the envelope out there. When might we realistically see this technology on the road in production vehicles? In uh, 2015, this will be out. And then in 2020, we'll take another leap forward with the technology. And uh, it's just kind of going to be a stair step like that. One of our regular contributors and guests on this program is Yosemite Sam. He's an automotive pinstriper. In fact, he's in the Automotive Pinstriping Hall of Fame. But there's something more about Sam that you probably don't know. He's also a fine artist. And what he has done throughout his career is try to combine uh, fine art with automotive art and bring those two worlds together. Check this out. Sam, these, these sculptures that you make, right. um, they're made of steel, they're painted with automotive paint, and as I look at them, I have to, I kind of get the feeling that there's, even though it's fine art, there's inspiration that you're drawing from your automotive side. Oh yeah, definitely, because the, when I got into the fine art, uh, I was doing paintings. That's how it basically started. When, when I was doing cars or motorcycles years and years ago, I would do a painting that represented what I did on the vehicle and give it to the person. The car or bike is gone in a year, but the painting still exists. And so uh, somebody in, in Waterloo, an art gallery, saw what I did and said, have you ever tried your hand at sculpture? And I said, well, yeah, I could try that, but I don't know how it's gonna go. So after I said, I'm gonna do it, I walked outside with my wife, Sherry, and I said, now what the heck did I get myself into this time? And so I ended up doing it. Uh, two months later, I took uh, three or four sculptures back, small ones, and uh, the next week I was on Sunday AM. Which was a TV show on CTV back, you know, a few years ago. School, yeah, and so what I do is I try and take all the things I've learned in the car or uh, motorcycle industry and make it a sculpture out of it. And uh, so I had the techniques, I had the ability, uh, but, you know, what do you do? And so I just started making sculptures that I liked and uh, it's taken off from there. So I've, I've done quite well with them. But if you look at them real close, you can see it. It's yeah. there. So. Well, you can see the lines. You can see, like, flow. Right. You can see, um, I don't know, maybe even a couple of tail fins in there. Yeah, there's, there's some of that kind of stuff. There's a lot of pinstriping in some of them, uh, some candy colors. Uh, like I say, uh, I had a, a story happen with that. And... Uh, Somebody came to buy a sculpture for his wife, and uh, he recognized something that was in one of the sculptures, asked me. At that time, I wasn't telling anybody I was uh, Yosemite Sam. And he said to me, he says, Sam, he says, uh, what's your background? 
I saw I used to pinstripe cars. And he says, so I'm the guy to put you out of business. And I said, well, that's good. I says, I don't mind that. I says, instead of buying a $50 stripe job, you're buying a $5,000 sculpture today. I said, why don't you come back tomorrow? He liked that. He thought it was really cool. Come to find out, uh, this was the president of 3M. And today, of course, 3M is wrapping all those cars out there in vinyl and putting you pinstripers out of business, but at least he has an appreciation for fine art. Yeah, pin, and vinyl has its place. Uh, I'm not saying it's bad. It, it has put a lot of pinstripers out of business, but there's a big r- field going on right now of uh, lettering people and sign painters and pinstripers are coming back. There's more pinstripers now and sign people than there was uh, 40 years ago. Well, you know what? Let's save that thought. We're going to hear more about that in the next episode of SSD. Sam, thank you so much for sharing uh, all of that with us today. And there's more coming up with Sam Radoff in future episodes of the SSD Car Show. Don't go away. When we come back, we'll show you what went into designing the all-new logo for this year's Ottawa Gatineau International Auto Show. Hi, my name is Joanna, and we've got more SST coming your way. Looking for a better way to buy a car? Stark Auto Sales holds insurance recovery auctions every Monday. SUVs, minivans, cars, trucks, motorcycles, even exotic sports cars. Thousands of vehicles in stock. Some are rebuildable wrecks. Some just parts cars. Others are damage-free theft recoveries. You can save a lot of money bidding in person or online. Stark ships worldwide. If you're looking for a better way to buy a car, stop by the next Monday auction at 119 Union Street, Toronto, or visit StarkAutoSales.com. The Southern Ontario Military Muster. See war reenactments, weapons demonstrations, vintage military vehicles. Honor the World War II veterans with a veterans parade marking the anniversary of VE Day. And the portraits of honor display paying tribute to Afghan vets. Tour the trenches and don't miss this year's new attraction, the Supermodels America Vintage Fashion Show. The Southern Ontario Military Muster. June 13th and 14th at the Essex Sports Complex Arena and Grounds in Essex, Ontario. Visit militarymuster.ca. Steve Plunkett presents the Fleetwood Country Cruise In, featuring 100 years of Dawg and Canada's Dukes of Hazard cast reunion. Meet Tom Wopat, John Schneider, Rick Hurst, Sonny Schroyer, General Lee Mechanic Tom Sarmento, and other celebrities like George Barris, Linda Vaughn, Courtney Hanson, Gene Winfield, and Dennis Gage. See square dancing tractors, over 4,000 vintage cars, and dozens of General Lees. June 6th and 7th, 9282 El Viage Drive, London, Ontario. Visit FleetwoodCountryCruiseIn.com for more info on an automotive extravaganza like no other. Maverick Multimedia. We produce TV commercials and negotiate best possible airtime rates for our clients. We build custom websites with original photography and graphic design, not stock photos, and offer cost-effective search engine optimization plans that generate response. Real people serving clients across North America, getting you real results. Call 1-866-248-1490. Maverick Multimedia Incorporated. Way better marketing solutions. Turn back the hands of time with Antique Chevrolet Parts. Since 1971, we've been sourcing parts from around the world to help you restore and maintain antique Chevs. No to tail fins, we have your parts. Call us toll free at 1-866-767-2787. Get help from a real person or go to AntiqueChev.com. Download a catalog, order online, delivered to your front door. Antique Chev, helping you turn back the hands of time. The Southern Ontario Military Muster. See war reenactments, weapons demonstrations, vintage military vehicles. Honor the World War II veterans with a veterans parade marking the anniversary of VE Day. And the portraits of honor display paying tribute to Afghan vets. Tour the trenches and don't miss this year's new attraction, the Supermodels America Vintage Fashion Show. The Southern Ontario Military Muster. June 13th and 14th at the Essex Sports Complex Arena and Grounds in Essex, Ontario. Visit militarymuster.ca. Looking for a better way to buy a car? Stark Auto Sales holds insurance recovery auctions every Monday. SUVs, minivans, cars, trucks, motorcycles, even exotic sports cars. Thousands of vehicles in stock. Some are rebuildable wrecks. Some just parts cars. Others are damage-free theft recoveries. You can save a lot of money bidding in person or online. Stark ships worldwide. If you're looking for a better way to buy a car, stop by the next Monday auction at 119 Union Street, Toronto, or visit StarkAutoSales.com.
Hey friends, welcome back to the SST Car Show. You know, this program is produced by our parent company, Maverick Multimedia Incorporated, which is a full-service advertising and marketing agency. One of the big clients from Maverick is the Ottawa Gatineau International Auto Show. And this year, Maverick designed the new logo for the Ottawa Gatineau International Auto Show. This is what went into that project. Designing a logo is no easy task, especially a truly unique logo, something that reinforces what a company is. So when our parent company, Maverick Multimedia, was given the task of designing a logo for the Ottawa Gatineau International Auto Show, it was a little intimidating. But we certainly had the talent to get the job done. The Ottawa Gatineau International Auto Show has become one of Canada's biggest automotive events. It attracts over 30,000 visitors each March at the Ottawa Convention Center. It's an event that deserves proper branding. But we felt past logo designs were no longer really relevant to what the show has become. We spent many hours on the phone with the man behind the show, Peter Ginsburg, and his organizer, Kensel Tracy. They knew they wanted something new, but weren't sure exactly what to ask for. So we focused not on the word Ottawa, as past logos often had, but on the words auto show to reinforce the fact that this is an event, not a place. We tapped into all the talent we have, artists, graphic designers, photographers, everyone on staff contributed and the first few rough designs showed promise. We looked to old logos from Pontiac, Ford, and even orphan car companies like Riley for inspiration. We looked at the work of great automotive artists from today and from the past, like René Lalique, and we found what we were looking for in the wings of old and established European car company logos. The challenge was updating that idea and making it truly original. Even when we hit on what would be the final basic design, the marketing team in Ottawa still expressed concerns about the placement and size of the text in the logo. The web designer for the Ottawa Gatineau International Auto Show had very specific needs and it was up to us to make sure those needs were met. This is the end result, a logo that is crisp, clean and modern, even though it pays tribute to our automotive heritage. Most important, this is a logo that people should identify with as being truly unique to the Ottawa Gatineau International Auto Show. Well, friends, that's all we have time for today. So until next time, I'm Rick Walker reminding you, when you can't get to the car show, we'll bring the car show to you online at streetsporttv.com. Multimedia Production.